So over the last couple of months, Sentry has released some epic improvements for web developers. You might have seen our new Trace Explorer, the Insights module, or even our JavaScript V8 SDK. But while we were shipping those, we were also shipping the smaller, more iterative improvements that, let's be honest, can often have the biggest impact on improving our debugging workflow. Check out these eight relatively smaller updates and make sure you're getting the most out of debugging with Sentry. Event highlights surface the most relevant and important tags at the top of the issues detail page, helping you quickly pinpoint the root cause and reduce debugging time. Best part is you can also standardize the tags shown across all issues in a project. Identifying the root cause of a React issue just got easier with the addition of React component names. In the Bundler plugin, you can now annotate your output DOM with its respective front-end component names, helping you know exactly which component is causing an issue by viewing it within the breadcrumbs of an issue, a span, and a replay. React 19 is still in beta, but the Sentry SDK for React and Next.js already support it. With React 19's new error handling hooks feature, Sentry will automatically attach your component stack to every new error, making it easier to know where to look in your component tree when debugging. The new trace view shows how multiple services within your application interact when supporting operations like page loads. We updated the trace view to include new features, such as zooming into bars in the waterfall view to get a better understanding of data gaps, displaying associated issues, web vitals, and profiles within a trace, and adding a trace level search bar that highlights transactions and spans by their properties. When your team members take action on a Sentry issue, or if it reappears, Sentry will reply to the original Slack notification. By grouping alerts into threads, it's easier to follow the discussion around a particular issue and keeps your Slack channels organized. You can now automatically resolve Sentry issues when you mark the linked JIRA ticket as done. This update ensures your tracking stays in sync. To enable this feature, go to Settings, Integrations, JIRA, Configure, and make the selection. For organizations that have integrated GitHub, Sentry will automatically set up code mappings for PHP and Go projects. After Sentry sets up your code mappings, you should notice that more issues have suspect commits and code owner-based assignments. Browser extensions, code injecting browsers, or widgets from third-party services all may throw errors that you can't address. To reduce noise, you can now define which URLs to allow errors from and filter out third-party errors by defining allow URLs and deny URLs options and third-party error filter integration. The new issue priority feature helps you focus on issues that matter most. Sentry now assigns priority to issues based on the event's log level for error issues or severity for non-error issues like performance. For Python and JavaScript projects, Sentry will also consider the error message, whether or not the error is handled, and historical actions taken on similar issues. Want to stay up to date on the latest from Sentry? Check out our change log for a running list of all product and feature releases. <laughs>